Let's now tell you what else made news around the world. Time for Gravita's global headlines. Saudi Arabia to extend its voluntary oil production cut of 1 million barrels per day through August to prop up slumping prices. The move allays concerns of a global economic slowdown and possible interest rate hike by the US. Turkey claims that it has busted what it calls a ghost cell of 56 Israeli Mossad operatives spying on non-Turkish nationals in the country. Seven people have been arrested. Russia's envoy to the United Nations has said that there were no grounds to maintain the status quo of the Black Sea grain deal. The deal is set to expire on July 18th. Envoy Gennady Gatilov said that the implementation of Russia's conditions for the extensions of the agreement was stalling. The French police arrested 157 people during what was a relatively quieter night. This was only a fraction of the numbers taken in on previous days of the unrest. The grandmother of the teenager shot in France has called for an end to the ongoing riots. 17-year-old Nahel was killed by the police in a Paris suburb. A 6.2 magnitude earthquake hit Indonesia's Papua province on Monday morning. The epicenter of the quake was at a depth of 33 kilometers. The National Geophysics Agency of Indonesia said that there was no tsunami potential. The quake was strongly felt in Jayapura, the capital of Papua, and there were no immediate reports of damage or casualties. Clashes between Sudan's army and paramilitary raid support forces intensifies as the war in the country's capital and western regions enter its 12th week with no attempts in sight to bring a peaceful end to the conflict. Hong Kong police has accused eight overseas-based activists of serious national security offenses. The police has offered rewards for information leading to any arrest. They have been charged under a national security law that Beijing imposed on the former British colony in 2020 after the financial hub was rocked by protracted anti-China protests the previous year. Heavy rains lashed streets of Chicago. Vehicles were trapped after thunderstorms hit the area. The National Weather Service issued a flash flood warning and asked residents to limit travel. Women's world number one Iga Swiatek begins her quest for a maiden Wimbledon title with a straight sets win over Xu Lin. The top seed claims a 6-1, 6-3 win in the first round. Ricky Fowler has ended a four-and-a-half-year title drought on the PGA Tour. The American snatched a dramatic three-way playoff victory to reign supreme at the Rocket Mortgage Classic in Detroit. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.